know if you're getting your money's worth when you buy a product. It's good to know the actual chlorine weight of the product. They'll have the ingredient listed and then they'll have the available chlorine and every label has this on the bag. Liquid chlorine of course is labeled different, I'll show you that in a minute. But they'll have the available chlorine labeled on the bag. This is 60%, this is 70%. And this dichlor shock is 36% available chlorine. And I'll show you how to calculate the actual weight of the chemical in the bag of shock. Here's a typical label you'll see on a chlorine product that you're going to be using. This here is dichlor and it's got 99% uh, dichlor and that's the purity of the product. And then that's still not the weight of the chlorine and has available chlorine and that's based on chlorine gas which is at 100% and that's just the strength of the chlorine. But that's still not the actual weight of the product. And basically to get the amount of chlorine in the product, you take the molecular weight and you divide it by the formula weight. It's a really complex math formula, but the simple rule of thumb is you take the number that you see here, which is 56%, and just divide that in two. So you just take the available chlorine number here and you divide that in half, and that gives you your chlorine by weight of the product. So the 56% dichlor is 28% chlorine by weight and the rest of it is the cineric acid stabilizer in it. And you calculate the stabilizer basically the same way you calculate the chlorine by weight. You take the molecular weight of the cineric acid and divide it by the formula weight and that gives you the amount of the conditioner in the dichlor and the trichlor products. Here's a bag of trichlor shock. It's got 67% trichlor, and that's the purity of the product, and the available chlorine is 60.3. So you can divide that in half and you'll get a chlorine by weight of about 30%. And that means the other percentage of the weight is, of course, a stabilizer conditioner that they put in the product. And the Cal Hypo has 70% available chlorine, which means it's got about 35% of chlorine by weight of the product. And that means the rest of the Cal Hypo is basically a sodium product. So the trichlor and the dichlor shock and dichlor granular will have a stabilizer as the other ingredient. Whereas the Cal Hypo and the liquid chlorine don't have any stabilizer in it. So unlike the shocks or other products that show the available chlorine here, this one here is 70% Cal Hypo available chlorine. The Clorox bleach will show the percentage of the chlorine in there, which is 5.7. And then the liquid chlorine also has the percentage of the chlorine, which is 12.5 in this one. And the one gallon of 12% chlorine will have about one pound of chlorine in it, and the rest is an in inert ingredients. And the 10% has a little bit less than a pound uh, per, per pound of chlorine in the bottle. Just Clorox bleach. You can definitely use it as a sanitizer in your pool also. Just note that the available chlorine is only 5.7%. And that's actually the chlorine by weight in the product. You don't have to divide this number in half as you do with the shock bags to get the available chlorine. It's calculated differently in the liquid. This is about half the strength as the liquid chlorine you will buy at a pool store, which is usually 10 or 12%. And I would stick with the Clorox brand, that way you know the exact percentage of the chlorine. A lot of the non-registered bleaches are about half as strong as this. Here are the 3 inch jumbo tablets. You can see that it's 99% uh, trichlor with an available chlorine of 90. Which if you do the math, it has 45% uh, percent chlorine by weight and then the other 
55% of the ingredient is going to be cyanuric acid conditioner. And again, the available chlorine is not the actual chlorine by weight. It's just the standard based on the purest form of chlorine, which is chlorine gas, which is 100% available chlorine. And that's why they're labeled that way to kind of get a gauge of how powerful the chemical actually is.